everyone. Today we are going to make some brandy glazed salmon fillets. And what you need is about three salmon fillets. This is enough for, for about three people. You can probably do this with four. And preheat your oven to 375 degrees and crack some, some, excuse me, some black pepper over just one side of it. You can actually do two. Um, actually, I'm going to just flip mine over and do both sides. Um, now, my salmon fillets came with some skin, and I took the skin off because I just don't think it's attractive. And this pepper is coming out way too big. Now, what you're going to do is spray it with some cooking spray, just on one side. And I went ahead and lined my uh, baking sheet with some aluminum foil just for easier cleanup. And I sprayed that with some cooking spray as well. And I'm going to put it in my oven. We're going to bake it for about 20 minutes or until you're um, is it done uh, to your desired likeness. Now in here, I'm just wipe my hands off here. I have a half a cup of apricot preserves. You can use peach. Either peach or apricot will be good. And all the ingredients will be listed below, as well as um, what you need to put in here. Now this eye is uh, a little bit big for this pan, but I'm going to use it anyways. And in this, we're going to put one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. If you don't like them, just leave them out. We're going to put three tablespoons of sugar. I know that sounds like a lot, but just trust me. Three tablespoons of brandy. And the alcohol in the brandy will actually cook off, so don't even worry about it. If you don't like brandy, just leave it out. It'll still be good. Um, and if you do leave the brandy out, just do about one and a half tablespoons of the sugar. In here, we're going to have, you're going to put in two tablespoons of soy sauce. I use redu reduced sodium. And I didn't have any spicy brown mustard, but usually I will put about a tablespoon of spicy brown mustard. This is just regular mustard. That's why I went ahead and, and put pepper over both sides of the filet. And you're just going to cook this over medium to medium low heat. Um, sugar does like to bubble up. That's why I have a, a bigger pan than normal. Like Usually I'd put all these ingredients in a smaller pot, but, you know, the last time I made this, it bubbled up and almost spilled over, so you really don't want to leave this. And just until the, the jelly dissolves, when it dissolves, your um, salmon should have been in for about five minutes. And just take your salmon out every five minutes and brush this glaze over the top of it. And when it is done, I will show you what it looks like. It's just that simple. All right, everyone. This is the finished product right here with some serving suggestions. I just made some rice and some chicken stock and sauteed some green onions and uh, garlic and put it in there. And then I steamed some asparagus and then I just stir fried it just a couple of minutes with some olive oil, some uh, pepper, and some garlic salt. So there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you try this.